Must do this film. I was told I'm doing this film. <laughs> it was not even that you must. Uh, I don't want anything to blame. Like, oh, आज मैंने वो वाला perfume नहीं लगाया तो performance अच्छी नहीं हुई. No, you were not on your A game. I've always done things that that I can actually sit and watch with my entire family. So if I, if, if I would feel like something would not make them uncomfortable, I won't I won't do it. I'm at a restaurant. They asked me to say it there. <laughs> <laughs> you are eating and yeah. there's like a thappad dialogue but bol ke batao na youtube pe dekh lo please so actually such a pleasure to have you on now binging uh, this is our signature show to celebrate streaming lovely uh, i really enjoyed the heart and i'm so happy you could make time to be here i'm so happy to be here <laughs> <laughs> you know you have talked about the har as feeling like a debut yeah and uh you're right in a sense it allowed us to see you in a in a different light in a way like you've never seen me before <laughs> absolutely <laughs> though though you've had strength in many of the characters you played but this was of a different level uh but so much do you feel also a sense of vindication now because after all these years people are seeing what you can do people are also giving you material that yeah you deserve yeah no you know reema said this actually she said this in an interview where we were both there and she was like you know i don't feel um, um people have done justice to um, sunakshi's talent i mean i somewhere i understand what she's trying to say but you know whatever work i've done whatever roles i've played uh whatever i was given i um played it as strongly as i could to the best of my ability so no regrets there but i'm glad that you know directors uh, like reema have sort of uh, noticed uh, whatever they did in that and offered me a role like um anjali bhati in the heart so i think uh, it's all it's all a matter of time um i mean i also took my time to kind of i learned everything that i know about acting about working on the job right uh, because i just started off with the bang uh, with no experience whatsoever but, you know no not even wanting to act not even <laughs> wanting to act can you imagine <laughs> so whatever i've learned i've learned on the job and it's been a fantastic journey for me every single day i learn something new from the people i work with my directors my unit my co-actors um so so it's been fantastic really and and i've really try to do the best that i can with whatever i've been given and now that people are giving me more roles like this i'm so happy because it just pushes me it challenges me and that's what i really enjoy and that's what keeps me interested in my work yeah yeah, yeah. you're not yeah. Uh, fixated on certain ideas of success or the numbers game or any of that not at all actually you know and and you've never been I've actually never been because I I don't know where it comes from but maybe it comes from the fact that I've seen my father through all his ups and downs and the way he's handled it he's the calmest person I know nothing phases him I don't think he's ever I've ever seen him raise his voice or be frazzled by anything and in spite and he's seen a lot in his life in films and politics um you know we've heard stories from him but he's always spoken of it very fondly as an experience even if it's a bad one it teaches you something so i think i've learned that from him like for me also i've i've had my successes i've had my failures but i've never everybody else calls it a failure and everybody else calls it a success but it means something different to everyone right to me success is to be able to live life on my own terms uh, to do the work that i want to do not what people want me to do um to make my parents happy and proud uh that is success to me so uh everyone sees it very differently so i think that's why i've been able to kind of sail through it like i'm just flowing <laughs> so it's a very zen like attitude. yeah it's a very zen like and i feel it's better to be like that because imagine like on a an, on any given film set in a day there could be a thousand things that could be go- going wrong imagine if everything started bothering you i would be like a wreck <laughs> i would be a wreck yeah. i would be a mess so it's easier to kind of just go with it and accept everything as it comes of course there are certain times where um uh, things do shake you up but it's all about how you handle them what do you do 
I kind of, uh, at work actually I'm usually very, very calm. Uh, I like to assess the situation. I like to think of, okay, fine, this is done now. We can't go back in time and change it. So what's the solution? So I think that's how I approach it. And, and it's really much easier. So, Sunakshi, you've talked about how when you did the bang, you actually told that you must do this film. It wasn't so much a choice, right? You didn't want to be an actor. Yeah, no, you know, I wasn't told I must do this film. I was told I'm doing this film. <laughs> <laughs> it was not even that you must. It was just understood. It was not advice. Yeah, it was just like, you're doing it. <laughs> so, would you say, when you say I'm living on my own terms, mm -hmm. is this almost the first time, in a sense, that you're living completely on your own terms? Uh, you know what? Uh, at that point of time, you, you're obviously very young, right? Yeah. I was, what, 21, 22 when uh, I signed the bang? And um, just out of college, um, utterly confused. Uh, which path I wanted to take, even though I did study fashion, I didn't know where exactly I wanted to go with my life. So for me, it actually came as, um, it was a really good thing that I was nudged in the right direction uh, because it made me find my true calling. And I would have never um, opted, you know, otherwise. opted otherwise, or I would have not known what it's even like. Um, so I think whatever happened, happened for the best, really. And... Um, I'm glad that it happened. So, um, at that point, it might have felt like, oh, you know, um, what am I doing and all. But then when I actually landed up on set in front of the camera, um, you know, working with everyone that I worked with on my first film, um, it, was, it was a fantastic experience. And that's what kind of um, really showed me the path. So it's all good. I think uh, now looking back, I'm very happy that they told me you're doing it. <laughs> uh, you always maintain that your acting method is no method. Yeah. Yeah. You're spontaneous when the camera switches on, you do what you need to. Yeah. But there are there so actually any rituals at all? Like some actors talk about uh, how they wear a certain perfume. Mm. the entire time or have a playlist just to get into the headspace. Yeah. Do you follow anything like that? No, I like being spontaneous and I like that it comes instinctively. I, I don't like being influenced by anything other than my director, um, the person who actually has a vision for what is being made, um, of course, along with the unit. But he's the one point of contact that I feel I need to be with to give him what he wants or him or her what she wants. Um, so yeah, I think um, I like it that way. I don't like to be, um, I don't want to attach myself to um, these processes. Yeah, processes because um, it's on me alone. If, if I do well, it's on me alone. If I don't do well, it's on me alone. And if I make a mistake, I'll learn from it and move on. Uh, I don't want anything to blame. Like, oh, I didn't wear that perfume today, so the performance was not good. No, you were not on your game. So uh, I like it. I like to have that sort of uh, responsibility instead of, you know, depending on um, other things, you know. But do you find that after all these years, what, it's been 13 now. Yeah. Uh, are you instincts as an actor more finely honed like can you rely on your instincts to deliver every time the camera comes on uh it's always been that actually like uh, there, there's so many movies and there's so many uh, characters that i play for example anjali bhati whose world i can never even imagine being a part of in real life um so it all comes back to me from the things that i've watched uh stories that i've heard people that i observe um places i've been to um, so yeah, so that's deeply um, personal and it's very instinctive, right? Um, it, certain things just can't be taught, I feel. So you have to pull it out from very, very deep within. So I think that's what I do. And it does come when the camera starts rolling. I don't is, know. is this a conversation you ever have with your father? Like about acting? Uh, you know, we actually probably never have. <laughs> I had a conversation about it. Never acting. ever. No. Like he's never really told me what I'm supposed to do or... But that's what I love about the trust he has in me also, right? And uh, he's always really appreciated my work. You know, you're right. Like I should ask him. <laughs> Dad. Tera saal ho Yeah. Koi to advice de ji. bolo. It's a good one. I'll ask him. <laughs> So I asked him, 
hmm. what he admires about you. Really? Yes. And and here's what he said. We're just going to play it okay. out. <laughs> How sweet. Mm -hmm. What I like most about Sonakshi is her confidence, conviction, sense of humor, her passion. उसके अंदर खासियत है खूबी है पोलाइटनेस और फॉर्मनेस के साथ जब वो किसी बात को ठान लेती है या मान लेती है कि यही उसके लिए सही है करना है उसको तो जिस बात को ठानती है या मानती है उसको करके वो दिखाती है जवाब देने की अदा भी उसकी बहुत अच्छी है शी इज़ अ वंडरफुल चाइल्ड वंडरफुल ह्यूमन बींग वी ऑल not only we are very fond of her but we are indeed very proud of her god bless thank you oh so sweet so sweet thank <laughs> like to hold back tears <laughs> that was really sweet ha na yeah he sounds like such a doting so father so nice of you to ask him no, and like I had this to. is so nice this is such a lovely moment right now oh Thank you. What can you tell us about Hira Mandi, which looks so lovely? Oh, thank you. Uh, very little right now because we're still shooting, but um, it's it's a magical experience. Um, being a Sanjay Leela Bhansali heroine, I think the way he envisions his um, the women characters in his um, projects, the way um, he is on set, the way he directs, the way he sees things that a normal person cannot see. um it's truly magical like there is only one sanjali lavan sali and yeah what can i say <laughs> <laughs> what about bade meya chote meya uh, which looks like a lot of fun it is a lot of fun actually uh, um i really wanted to work with alia baz zafar because i i really liked his work in the past and um when this film came to me i actually um uh, said yes because i really really wanted to work with him and he's he's fantastic as well like he's a very um cool headed um director very good temperament on set um and he's um like whatever he needs to do there's so much happening there's action there's you know comedy there's drama everything but it's all in his head like he needs no like paper or like anything like to see what he's doing it's all up here so it's so it's very interesting to watch him work like his process like it's quite cool so so now actually as an actor now your open to doing all sorts of things yeah. like something like the hard which is of course mostly focused on you but but the other characters are also fleshed out and Absolutely, and you know yeah. have depth uh, or something like hardcore mainstream like bade meya chote me i think i've always been like that i've i've in fact i've i've said this a few times that i want to be that actor uh, who a filmmaker can envision in any sort of script any sort of genre any project um i want to do the luteras of the world i want to do the rowdy rathors of the world i want to do the akiras of the world and then i want to do the dahards of the world so i want it all like uh like i said you know like i have to really enjoy what i'm doing and the only way i enjoy it is by doing different 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 things yeah um if i do the same thing over and over again i get bored myself so uh i have to have to keep doing different things to kind of Um, entertain myself <laughs> <laughs> and entertain us yes <laughs> okay we have are now moving on to binge recommendations okay. where i'm going to get into what kind of a watch viewer you are okay okay <laughs> how extreme of a binger are you like what's the longest you binge watch something um i actually uh, can binge I, like i'm i'm a late sleeper So, I usually start my watching at like ten, eleven in the night, and then I'll go on to like two, three o'clock in the morning whenever I feel sleepy, or I doze off while watching. Okay. So I can binge <laughs> food and uh, content. <laughs> <laughs> so, do you watch more Indian or international stuff? A mix, actually. I'm, I'm, I, anything that interests me. Uh, I like to watch a trailer first, and then if. if i'm hooked on to it or if i'm hearing something about uh, you know a lot of people uh, talking about it word of mouth yeah okay um, if there's chatter about it i'll definitely watch it 
So what are you watching right now and why? Right now I'm watching um, uh, Queen Charlotte. Uh, because I really liked uh, Bridgerton. Me uh, too. One How much two. fun was that? Yeah, <laughs> and uh, this one is also really, really good. Um, then I just watched this show called Beef. Um, I, I just started Succession because I've been hearing a lot about it. Uh, so yeah, lots of like different things. I, I do watch a lot of crime drama as well. There was this one uh, phase I went through where I wa was only watching Korean shows. Um, so like for three, four months, I didn't see anything English or Hindi. I only watched Korean and then I got over it. But they make a lot of good stuff. So every now and then something Korean pops up, I'll have a go at it as well. Yeah. What's a recent performance that made you jealous? So it could be any, right? Male or female. Okay, so I'm sure you've seen uh, Breaking Bad. So there's a spin-off on that called Better Call Saul. Yes. Saul's performance in that entire show. I mean, this is a character from one of the biggest shows in history. And the way he made it his own, I think his performance was phenomenal. Um, female, I think, um, Inventing Anna. To play that girl and the way she played it. Uh, she had me hooked like from the word go. So, yeah, these are two performances that I really, really thoroughly enjoyed. Yeah. When all the sinhas get together, mm. who decides what you guys are going to see? What we uh, Dad. We always ask him mm. uh, what he'd like to see or if there's something uh, that, you know, we've seen that we know that he'll really enjoy. Uh, we put it on for him. Yeah. And he's open to your yeah, taste. Yeah, yeah. And he's, he's very open. <laughs> nice. Uh, what's a film you've enjoyed seeing with him? You know, I used to watch a lot of his own films with him. Really? Um, yeah, like when I was growing up. So I really enjoyed watching um, Khudgars with him. I used to watch it over and over again. There was this one movie called Hoshiar, which I'm not sure. I don't know if it did well or not, but he was in it. And I was obsessed with that film. And I, I, I used to watch it every day uh, when I came back from school. Then uh, Kali Charan, uh, Vishwanath. Um, and I think he also likes to watch it with me because, you know, he's like, that's what I can do. Bab, <laughs> bab hota hai. So do you, do you still do this? Do you guys like to sit down and watch his movies okay, occasionally? We haven't done it in a while actually because he's also super busy. I think he's busier than all of us. Uh, he's constantly traveling. I'm busy with my shoots. So uh, we haven't done that in a while, but it would be nice to kind of regroup. <laughs> And watch one of his. Yeah. Uh, if, let's say, you were told now this film or this show is going to be the last thing you do, <gasps> okay? Okay. Who would you choose as your co-star? Okay, can we make it like director? Like, <laughs> Achha, director? Yeah. Um, the last thing I could do, huh? Oh my God. Riman Zoya. How lovely. Yeah. I I thoroughly enjoyed working with them. Um. The way they think is just phenomenal. It's inspiring. It's empowering. Um, and what they think, what they, what then turns out on paper, and then what they make, uh, just watching that entire process is so beautiful. And they're such strong-willed um, women, um, you know, just doing what they want to do, and they will do it the way they want to do it. So it was it was really nice working with them. Good yeah. choice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what's the streaming show that you wanted to be part of? So uh, there's a there's a few that I've I've liked. Uh, Patal Lok, uh, Sacred Games, Mizapur. But I don't know if I'd fit in <laughs> any one of those. <laughs> kind of explicit. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I really enjoyed watching them. So yeah. But you don't. Is this something they, you see yourself in? No, see, you know, I've always, I've always done things that, that I can actually sit and watch with my entire family. So if I, if, if I would feel like something would not make them uncomfortable, I won't, I won't do it. So that's still like yeah. an unsaid rule for you? No, it's a said rule for me. It's a, I say it all the time. Really? Yeah, of course. Um, um, I would, I prefer it that way. Uh, it's not because I've been told or anything. It's just um, nicer. If I can sit with my parents and watch something without them flinching or feeling embarrassed, um, I like it. So uh, I would do that. So 
yeah so these are the three uh, uh series that i really really liked but i don't know if i would uh, fit in them <laughs> so actually do you ever think that you might lose out on really good material because it has to be palatable to the family no there's enough uh, work going around there's been enough work going around which is why i'm still here 13 years down the line uh because i've always done the work that uh i'm comfortable doing mm. um you know so it's it's fine and uh, i and i always lay my cards out initially whenever somebody offers me something if i feel there's something untoward which i'm I won't be comfortable with i always make sure that they know about it mm. and then it's their choice if they need if they want to replace me with someone else them of course it's it's your choice please go ahead but uh, most of the time people have uh, said okay fine uh, we'll, we'll work around we it we want you <laughs> we know what you bring to the table so uh, we'll work around it so it's it's been good so far yeah um which director who hasn't done a streaming show till now do you think should amit sharma uh my director of teva yeah i yeah. think uh, he'd be really um good in a long format um situation uh because i i I've, i've seen the way he works and um his characters are very very nice uh, uh and i feel if he has a longer time to develop his characters he like it'd be amazing <laughs> okay now recommend uh shows or films for the following situations something to watch when you're just down friends <laughs> like classic classic <laughs> yeah. yeah standard instant pick me up instant pick me up yeah. do you still go back to it yeah every now and then uh but more than that actually um modern family yeah the best show ever made <laughs> Oh my god what writing yeah. and it's just so lovely how every person in that family is different but yet so much in love with each other i, I just and and it. we've literally seen them yeah. grow yeah older yeah yeah it's it's my all time favorite show nice uh what do you watch when you're in the mood for love in the mood for love uh <laughs> digital <laughs> what else it's a good it? choice yeah. what's a crime thriller that just gripped you Oh, lots. I watch a lot of crime dramas actually. So, um, Luther. There's uh, Marcella. There is. Um, I even though I'm in it, I love the heart. <laughs> I mean, like I'm watching it, um, just because it's just so well cooked all around. So, uh, then um, there's quite a few. I I watch a lot of crime documentaries also. Delhi crime. Oh my God, it is. it moved gutted you. me yeah, yeah it, it just gutted me yeah. i mean to make a show on a, on a subject like that and to make it um like this i think hats off to the makers it must have been really tough on them also and shifali shah oh what a performance yeah yeah she's superb she's amazing yeah yeah, yeah. Okay. okay now segment 3 imagine this so i'm going to give you situations and you're going to tell me what would how it would pan out okay oh. So imagine this you're on a road trip with Geet okay and Chulbul Pandey <laughs> and Gabbar Singh <laughs> who would be in the driver's seat who would be the snobby passenger and who would be the DJ I think Gabbar would be in the driver's seat uh Chulbul would be the snooty pa- passenger because nobody can make him drive you know he does what he wants and Geet would be the DJ <laughs> <laughs> Okay if you're stuck in the world of a show hmm. What's your pick? Stranger Things, Game of Thrones, or The Walking Dead? And how would you make this world your own? Oh my God! It's tough between Game of Thrones and Stranger Things, uh, but Stranger Things, I think more so because like those kids are cool. <laughs> yeah, and Game yeah. of Thrones, you'd just be yeah slaughtered. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like you'd be dead, no? <laughs> Off with a <the> head. <laughs> exactly. Okay. Now imagine this: there is a biopic being made hmm. on you. What would the title be? Asli Sona. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Okay. Imagine this. You have the power to give advice to a character you've played. Mm. Who would you give advice to and what would it be? Oh wow. I think uh Rajjo. Uh she was a strong girl but she was kind of meek. Uh so I would just tell her that just be bindas. Yeah. <laughs> Go for it. <laughs> If it's on your mind, just say it. <laughs> By the way, do people still ask you to do the the dialogue? Yes, 
टिल टुडे इट्स अनबिलीव नो मैडर वेर आई गो एनी इवेंट any interview in fact if i meet like if i'm traveling to a different city and if i bump into like a fan or something i'm at a restaurant they ask me to say there <laughs> you're eating and yeah. there's like a thappad wala bata bol ke batao na youtube pe dekh lo please <laughs> it's 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 flattering it i is. mean i mean 13 years down the line you're asking me to say that and it's one line first. it's one line and one line we didn't think Anything of that. When you were shooting it, कुछ ऐसा नहीं था. Nothing, nothing. That one line came in the trailer, and since then, that's why we're all here. It's yeah. just all such a mystery. Yeah, right? it is. Okay, Sunakshi, so, do you have um, sort of larger ambitions now? Uh, I think the hard has given a real sort of push to your career. Uh, how do you want to leverage it, or are you the type of actor who will take it as it comes? I will take it as it comes. I've I've always been like that. Um, like I said, you know, success is very different to different people. So for me, I'm I think I'm very successful uh, <laughs> right now. So um, I want to do the work that really excites me. I want to uh, like right now. My my main intention after like um, getting a script like the hard, um, I feel like I'm veering more towards you know the writing bit of it. because it was so thorough and so well rounded on paper itself that i believe we were able to create um something like that on screen um so now my focus is kind of like to find matter material which is well written you know um right from the beginning so um that's where my focus is right now so it's not i'm not thinking about oh now where to go from here you do your work you do it well you'll, you'll go. go you'll go <laughs> yeah You know, and everybody has to go only so you'll go shum shum bolo nahi matlab everybody has to go ahead in life that's what i meant okay one last question so actually do you ever see yourself um being in a position where you want to sort of create the material or curate material like for yourself in the sense that produce or take on a more controlling role um the thought has crossed my mind um but i don't know if i have the aptitude for it uh i'm a very 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 creative person but like seeing people like reema and zoya who are they're actually creative producers like they are making what they want creatively they are in sync with each other creatively and that's so beautiful so that actually really inspired me so hopefully if i do end up wanting to do something like that i would like to do it how they've been doing it like uh it's it's been really nice to to watch them put something like that together and they've done it like so many projects they've made you know um the way they want to make them so it's amazing so yeah if i ever end up doing it it'll be like this so one day there might be sonakshi sinha producer maybe yeah never say never <laughs> <laughs> lovely yeah. cannot wait sonakshi thank you so much thank you so much thank you <laughs> People still ask you to do the the dialogue. Yes, till today, it's unbelievable. No matter where I go, any event, um, any interview. In fact, if I meet like if I'm traveling to a different city and if I bump into like a fan or something, I'm at a restaurant. They ask me to say there. <laughs> You're eating, and yeah. there's like a thappad wala. Dialogue, but ah, bol ke batao na. YouTube pe dekh lo, please. <laughs> It's But, it's it's flattering. It I is. mean, I mean, 13 years down the line, you're asking me to say a dialogue. And it's one line. First. It's one line, and one line we didn't think anything of at that. When you were time. shooting it, कुछ ऐसा नहीं था. Nothing, nothing. That one line came in the trailer, and since then. <laughs>